Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead and Candy Roth. Uh, we're looking at a, a good day, cooler than yesterday. Going to be top out at like 50, 51, 52, uh, dry and looking good. But definitely the sweatshirt today. Tomorrow, a little bit warmer, and it looks like a little bit of rain tomorrow. But after tomorrow, after your Thursday, uh, starting Friday and beyond, it looks really uh, nice and dry for the weekend, Ken. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yesterday was gorgeous. Yes, it was. Oh, my God. It, it doesn't make sense. I mean, I'm not complaining. The flowers are still blooming. I walked past one rose bush in full bloom. I said, what's going on here? Yeah. I And by the way, November 7th yesterday, and I'm uh, walking out of the house at one point, and I see a giant, like, uh, a bug, like, flying around. Like, I clo- <laughs> you know, things you don't expect in November. I'm like... Close the door. Don't let don't let the crazy bug inside. Like it's, oh my goodness, a bug! Well, what you have to call to kill that bug? Would, would you, Dana do that? Let me tell you something. Uh, against my better judgment, <laughs> I do kill the bugs in the house. Really, even the really big ones. Yeah, and what happens? And I think I've told you this before, but it's worth repeating. I grab more paper towels than I actually need because you need you need some. Uh, cushion right you need some extra right so you could... separation between you and the bugs debris yes that that's right and then you get in position to get the <laughs> bug whether it's you know you're on a chair wherever you are you get in position and then when it's time to get the bug you go as fast as you can and as you smush it without care about getting smushed bug on your paint or your wall because that cannot factor in as you're smushing it <laughs> You have to yell and go, I got you, I got you. Oh. Because that makes me feel better about actually, like, uh, being not a man. Wa- right, being <laughs> a man. Because I really gotcha. I, I don't want to do it. And I, yeah. Um, but to answer your question, I kill the bugs. In the All house, right, I see. It, and you've got quite a little thing going on over there. There's <laughs> is, is a lot going Shathead, on. Head, bug killer. Um, let's get to something more important. I got a bunch of texts from my mother yesterday. I was so hoping she would respond. And my father. about. So let's go to the tooth thing. Um, when you asked me this question, this is what I told you. This is exactly from my mother. Um, you were talking yesterday about how you still have healthy roots, but some teeth that you might put crowns on right well, they're suggesting the front teeth the forefront on the top the forefront on the bottom okay uh my mother word for word says as by the way can i just say as i told you the other day but you didn't believe me a crown just covers the healthy tooth they shave the tooth down a little and and cover with the crown I have a few of my own tooth roots covered with a crown, back teeth, or a cap, front teeth. Missing teeth require implants. So your ah. teeth are your teeth are healthy. The roots are okay. Yep. Healthy. Okay. Uh, my mother has crowns in the back, caps in the front. Caps. This is what yeah. I've got to ask about because this is what freaks. I have uh, several crowns in the back. I think I have three, maybe four. Mm-hmm. And um, but this is the front. I mean, this is you know what people see when you smile. I already you know try not to smile with my teeth, but the filing down. I look at them and I'm like, they're perfectly healthy. They're gonna file. And if they try to rig me into doing some sort of root canal. Uh, no, I am going to get a second opinion. And I appreciate your mother. And she really, really, really helped me. But you know what? I want a second opinion. Because they didn't say anything about caps. They said crowns. So mm-hmm. you've got to, like, really, you know, distinguish between the two. All Someone right. Someone else said to me, wouldn't that be a cap? And I ah. agree. Why wouldn't they tell me that? Well, you you need to go question them, and if they don't know the answer, you go somewhere else. Well, I'm definitely getting a second opinion before right. I do anything 
Now, to the other issue at hand, we were talking about Costco versus BJ's yesterday. Yes, we were. And you and, and I both agree that we prefer BJ's. Right. Well, we prefer it for, for a couple of reasons. And right. those would be, it's usually, except for holiday time, it's usually less crowded. Totally. And it's easier to find things because they actually put signs at the ends of the aisles. Yes, they do. I'm so confused in Costco all the time. Always. I don't know where to find anything. Now, we both agreed that Costco is always packed and BJ's not always packed. Not right? always packed. That's the pleasure of it. So my mother and father sent some statistics and <laughs> <laughs> they're very good at their jobs. I love yeah. them. But let me, by the way, I, before I get to it, let me just explain. Middle of the day, when they're listening to the replay of our show, which is up at licountry.com by about noon, anywhere between noon and about 3 p.m., I expect texts because that's when they listen and that's when they answer our questions. Um, my uh, mother and father both sent statistics. Do you know? Let's go to my mom first. She, <laughs> she said... Dare I say she could be a bit smarter than your father? <laughs> Dare I say that? Dare he might admit that, maybe? Would he? If, yeah, if that, oh, I, she's I about the smartest person around. Let's I face don't, it. I'm sure he would, absolutely. Uh, I'll probably get a text later with him admitting that she's Ooh. smarter. Uh, Costco has 60% of the market share. BJ's 8% of the market share. And by the way, the other 32% of the market share we didn't talk about, Sam's Club. Do you know I've never been in a Sam's Club? I don't even know where there is one around by me. So, so there is one uh, right next to uh, Target off the LIE. By the way, there might be more, but there is a big Sam's Club next to the big Target in Medford right off the LIE. I've never been. I don't belong uh, to Sam's Club. I don't Club. belong, and I've never walked through the doors. I don't know what they have. Yeah, uh, Sam's Club has, like, give or take, 35% of the market share. Beach is only about 8% of the, of, the, uh, of the market. And uh, so it was more than we even thought, as wow. a matter of fact. One to the parking lot is always full, no matter when you go. And then uh, my mother sent me this. Costco, throughout the world, has about 120 million cardholders. Wow. BJ's, which is mostly East Coast, not across the world, has about 5.5 million card oh. holders. So, well, big difference. Now, we know. now look, if I mm. want to buy clothing, Costco. They've got mm -hmm. great selection, no question about it. Their rotisserie chicken is better than BJ's. For the is same it? Guys. Is it? Really? It's better. Yes, I think okay. it's better than BJ's. Same All price. Right. Of course, you have your little lunch specials, your buck 50 dog with a soda, and the other mm. stuff they have, which, you know, is tempting, and a lot of people definitely uh, take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. But they need to, like, show where things are and what's what, and very difficult to maneuver my way around. Now, I used to go there all the time. I had to rip up my Costco card years ago. I was an addict. <laughs> uh, and I knew where everything was. <laughs> wow. And I couldn't walk through the door without spending $100, even if I was going in for one item. Oh. So I said, I got to stop this. This is crazy. And uh, I cut my card up and I said, goodbye, Costco, for many, many years. But now again, I'm a member. But I've, I've gotten control of my addiction. By the way, if you want a good analogy, I, I think it's good. It may not be. Uh, going to Costco is like going down to the general admission pit at a, a big country show at a football stadium. You're down in the pit. You're shoulder to shoulder. You can't move. You're getting the best of everything. You're seeing the artist up close, but it is tight down there. It's crazy. Ugh. Going to going to BJ's, so it's like sitting sitting up in the suite, right? Maybe you don't get the best view. But it's it's more it's a, you got more space you got a chance to move more around. space <laughs> and in BJ's it's all self serve you know checkout yeah most of in it in Costco most of it, is. it is not you're right Costco has more people checking people out than uh, BJ's BJ's is a lot of self uh, service for sure uh, Candy we have a lot to get to coming up at seven forty seven or so I will tell you about my evening out yesterday. Mm -hmm. 
I'm looking forward to hearing about it. I got a few beautiful pictures, and yep. I'm ready to get the details. Big night at the Suffolk County uh, Girls Tennis Awards, Varsity Awards. We'll, we'll get into it. I also have, how about this? We're celebrating uh, 20 years of the movie Elf. Can you believe that? Of that movie? Can't believe it's 20 years. No. 20 I'll years. Watch it we'll- every year, at least once. We'll get into some stats. Absolutely uh, interesting stuff. Uh, your next bald in the beautiful entertainment up about eight twelve or so, and uh, yeah, good news. National days going to be a brisk, dry about fifty. Let's hit the roads, my country, ninety six point one. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays six to ten a.m. on my country, ninety six point one.